The views, information, and opinions expressed during the following program are solely those of the individuals involved and do not necessarily represent the views of Access Communications, its representatives, or its employees. Hey, it's Bob here and we're at Cruising and it's the Saskatchewan Ford Mercury show and this is one of three shows and I've got the president with me Mike Kyle so you must be pleased today Mike with the turnout and the weather the weather's terrific a uh, little windy and right off the get-go and we're setting up but we've got I think about 106 cars registered today fantastic turnout for the last car show of the summer for us so tell us a little bit about your club here. How many members do you have and what this, you do some fundraising and all that stuff and you're the president and uh, you get to decree whether you uh, go to war against Putin or something. Or oh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, we don't think much of that clown. But uh, as far as the car club goes, it varies anywhere between 80 and 95 members yearly. Uh, fellows get old, sold their, sell their cars, move on, things happen, new guys come in. We've got some uh, younger guys in the club now, which is nice to keep this old stuff going. So we mentor them along and uh, teach them how to fix cars, what to do, give them advice. And uh, we run three car shows a year, our club, the Sasquatch Mercury Club. We base here with the NW. They're kind enough to let, let us use their facilities. Um, it's obviously very good for business. The place is packed today. Yeah, exactly. And uh, we run one in June, one July, and one August. So this is the last one of the year, then? Yeah, it's just the last one. And then we have some, uh, some private club events. We have a spring and fall cruise. And we'll generally get a hold of uh, another club in town with a bunch of guys who the Collector's Car Club. Oh, yes. And yes. they're a great bunch of guys. And they, uh, they come They to help our... us out with the Labor Day show in China. Yeah, they do a great job. So they, uh, they'll come along on some of our cruises and stuff and, and fellows from Indian Head, some of the Moose Jaw guys. And the car community isn't just relative to a specific car club. Yeah. And if you look around here today, we have uh, car club members from Indian Head. Uh, shout out to the guys from Moose Jaw, uh, Majestic's car members, uh, Northside Street Rod members are here. And there's probably some others I haven't even thought of. but. Uh, it's a community of guys and it's all guys and gals and it's what the car car thing's all about oh absolutely it's a family fun thing and families enjoy yeah. it and part of your uh, your your revenue goes towards uh, charity and that which charity is that again yeah our, the charity we've been supporting for a number of years is the juvenile diabetes foundation okay. for research and uh, last month we presented them a sizable check we do every year and that's our goal so the the funds that come from the table there, everybody registers at $10. And after the cost of the pin is collected, everything else basically ends up with juvenile with diabetes. And then we have a steak night in the winter, and we allow them to come out and they do a fundraiser there. So we do everything we can for a worthy cause. And there's lots of different causes to, to choose from that are relative and good. We just happened to pick that one, and, and they're happy to have us helping them out. I can imagine. In closing, just tell us, what kind of Fords do you have, or Mercury? I got a 1969 uh, Ford uh, uh, Cobra to the hard top. There's some people, it's a fairly embodied car. Yeah. 420 four speed car. And I got my old 63 Galaxy here. It's a two to hard top, a big block four speed car as well. Big block, well, how big is the big block? That one's a 406. 406. Uh, the, the one in the Cobra Jet. That's, a, that's a, unusual, 406. It, it's it? one year only motor. Yeah. Uh, it's a precursor to the 427 Ford. 427 Ford. And then the other car is a 420 Cobra Jet. Oh, okay. And, uh, I'm just curious, going back to that 406, what do you think you're putting out for horsepower there? Well, they advertised with the three Holly carbs that it came with, 405 horsepower or 406. Three Holly carbs? What size are those? What CFM are those? I think they're about uh, 440, four, six, 440 a piece. Because you can't have seven or 800, three. Uh, no, nah, she's putting out lots. And it, it when the speedometer is going one way, the gas gauge is going the other. I'll let you, <laughs> I'll let you know about that. Maybe we'll walk over and we'll just have a quick peek at it. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, sure, you're welcome. Thank you.
Man, how did you find it? Was it just on Kijiji? Yeah, or just word of mouth from a friend of mine. He put <laughs> me onto it, and I got kind of interviewed to even look at the car. And, interviewed? And, oh, yeah. <laughs> came out of a private collection from a guy that doesn't want everybody knowing his business. And, oh, uh, okay. Oh, yeah, it worked I out really well. I got interviewed to buy the car. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's, so that's it was set up by a dear friend of mine. That, yeah, that no, well, that's good. Car. Some of these cars, you know, they just hide out in different people's collections and cars. You never see them hit the street. Well, you know, the worst thing for these cars, these old cars, they got to be driven on a regular basis. They do. Uh, you got carburetors dry out, fuel systems go bad, uh, yeah. brakes go bad, all kinds of issues. But if you if you get them out and get them hot once in a while, put some fresh fuel, fuel them, and throw them, get them out in the highway, warm them up, yes. clear out the cylinders. They'll give you everyday service like they did when you and I were young guys. Yeah, no, you know. That's right, so Joe. you gotta drive them. I yeah. like to drive at least once a week. I'll it's come like, in for coffee with my car buddies, and yeah. And I live out of town uh, ten miles, so get, get a, a good cruise warm. in. Yeah, cruise in. It's like and, having a horse. If you let it sit around in the field, do nothing, can't perform. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come in, kill a few bugs, go home, clean it off again. <laughs> it's all fun. I love it. I love the bench seat on this. That's what. Yeah, I that's like. kind of kind of you know, neat the way they did. Nothing wrong with buckets and all that stuff, and I love that. I've had cars with. Well, buckets. these are comfortable. It's like yeah. driving an old half ton you know you yeah, could drive all day yeah. long with a bench okay. seat in a truck it, well i used to call it that living room ride you know you're yeah. just sitting in your mom and dad's living room and uh, it's a really unusual color but it appeals to me yeah it is different isn't it is that that's not uh right from oem is it yeah that's factory color in the car but it's not the original paint though huh? it's been repainted once yeah. and it's yeah. just a driver quality paint be, job yeah, it's not yeah, the best, yeah. but it's i like it. that driver quality paint job it's good Good for me. A 10-footer. <laughs> a 10-footer. No, it's more than a 10-footer. I can see that. I love this. Is this stainless on here? Yeah, or is that's, that chrome? That, that would be, uh, I think that's chrome, actually. Yeah. You know, I just like sometimes they use, they use well, this would be stainless, wouldn't it? Yeah, this is stainless here. Stainless. And you know, sometimes re, it's hard to tell a difference between stainless and chrome if you get it really polished. Well, up. the idea back in the day was, that was a jet AJ, so Ford had, in there from 62 or so up with T-Birds and Galaxies. They all had the big round taillights uh, emulate oh, like uh, yeah, the, thrust, the, uh, flame out with your the thrust coming out of a jet's rear end or something. But and then the name Galaxy and, you know, they were looking for that. And they, well, they had one car. they called the Starliner. Yeah. You know, and then you got your Galaxy. And, you know, that was kind of the theme. And you going. know, the thing is, these, these, a lot of these Galaxies and uh, were race cars also in NASCAR. Well, that's how saw, this. I saw one at Goodwood the yeah. other day on uh, YouTube. They were racing a car like this. Well, that's how this motor came to be. See, they were running 406s against the Chevy 409s in NASCAR. Oh, okay. So they cast a 390 block, made it beefier, so they could bore it out for bigger cylinders. That's how you got 406 cubes. And then oh. they put a solid lifter motor in it cast iron uh, exhaust manifolds, three uh, three two-barrel Hollies, and that's how they came up with 405 horsepower. Came up with a So race they car. ran this motor for one year, and it was available to the public, like this car has. Yes. Then Ford boarded out another 200,000, came out with the famous 427. Ooh. So this is the basis of that engine. Okay. And, but they only made this motor for a year. That's so why a lot of people... building block of the 427. Yeah, they aren't familiar then with this the motor. you have the 428 and then a 429. Yeah, well, the 428 is a uh, derivative of the... Uh, the FE motors, they started out in 58, and FE stood for Ford Edsel. Oh, okay. Okay, and uh, they started as a 332, and then changes over the years right up to the 428 Corbett jet. Yes. And that included the 427, the 390, the 360, the Where's 330. Where's the 429 come in there? That is a different motor series. That's a different engine block. Oh, okay, different And engine the block. 460 and the 429 are the same engine. They're the totally different than the FE That's block Lincoln, series. That's a Lincoln, big Lincoln. Yeah, they're a totally different engine. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, and different plants, different engines, you know, coming out of this place and that place, yeah. you know. Windsor, blah, blah, blah. I so didn't know them all. Some anymore. of these engines powered half tons right through the mid-70s. You know, they went, oh. started this engine series in 58 and went right to the mid-70s before they got rid of them. So yeah, like they've Chevy, been around they a two, long time. 265, 285, 327, 350. Yeah, yeah and they were all terrific engines too, you know. Yeah. And, if you're a Chevy follower, they had their family of motors too, and yeah. one wasn't better than the other. They just leaked in different places. Yeah, no, exactly. Well, thanks for joining us, Mike. Really good and good education on the Ford here. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much, Bob. So I'm here with Bill Boomer, and we're just chilling behind his little trailer here, and it says Tear Jerkers. <laughs> What is this trailer? Tell us, did you make this or did you buy oh, this? Uh, I've been after this trailer for about 10 years. Uh, a friend of mine out in Victoria, B.C. built it in 1979. Oh, it's a home-built then, huh? Yeah, it's a home-built trailer. He's had it has a nice, nice fit and finish. I mean, it doesn't look like some home-built thing to me. Oh, it's, uh, it's the outside is all aluminum. Okay. Uh, it's period-dated. It needs 
little TLC, but uh, it's a That's good That's what motor. makes it go, though, though, too. I mean, you've got... So tell us a little bit about... You've got a little counter here, which... Does that pull up, or... Yeah. This here, it just pulls out, and you just... Drops out. Stores vertical in here. So this is your outdoor kitchen, then? Yeah. So you got a little cook stove there, and you've got your... Uh, drawers for... Uh, utensils and canned food and that type of stuff. Uh, so have you actually taken a camping yet, Bill? Um, I've I've slept in it, but... Not, you have slept oh, in it? Oh yeah, three times. I just, I just bought it two weeks ago. Oh really? And I told Did you go all the way out to BC to get it? I left here on Sunday morning and uh, I was in Victoria on Monday afternoon. Oh, you were smoking. <laughs> what were you driving? Uh, Dodge Dakota. <laughs> Dodge Dakota. 340,000 kilometers on it. Oh, jeez. But this is really cool. So your buddy built it. Did he fabricate those bumpers on the down uh, the These are, I think they're probably 1944. Oh, 1944. I'm, I'm guessing right? at it, yeah. They, so the outer skin is made out of what? Aluminum. Aluminum? Yeah. So he's a bit of a tin banger then, is he? Did he yeah, it was all out of it? aluminum. The inside is uh, just thin panel board. Oh, really? Yeah. So you knew he was going to sell it, and you said, I got well, it. Well, no, I've been bugging him for 10 years, and I, I went to the car show uh, up in Yorkton two weeks ago, and uh, I saw on Facebook he was going thinking of selling it. Yes. So I contacted him, and 15 minutes later it was mine. <laughs> well, I like it. I like it. Let's have a look inside here for a sec, Bill. Absolutely. I like this outdoor kitchen back here. This works for me. It's uh, it's all going to get modified this winter. Uh, oh yeah. Hey, you got a tap here, huh? Yep, so you this, hook up the garden hose or this what? This here just unbolts for two wing nuts. Okay. But the sink is actually out of a Canso airplane. Really? Yeah. Oh, so this whole fabricated thing is from an airplane? Yeah, it's just on two wing nuts and you take it off and put it inside for travel. So what has he got in the back here for a rear end? Looks like a vintage rear end too. It's a vintage rear end, uh, model A uh, wheels, I believe they are. Okay. And this is all aluminum over top, huh? Yeah. The whole outside is all aluminum. <laughs> Hey, he's even got the little airplane logo on yeah. there. So do you think you've slept in it, huh? Oh, it's very, very comfortable. Really? Low, low level. Does it have uh, air vent at all, or how do you keep yourself no, cool? No, uh, just uh, windows open up about an inch. Win the window will open up about an inch. Yeah. Oh, good for you, Bill. So now you got yourself a camper. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just, I, I bought it. Uh, I've got another trailer I was carrying, towing stuff, and I have a tent on it, and you got to take the tent off and set it up and take it down. This way, I just throw a cover over the car, climb in, and go to sleep. And look at this. you got your, what's that, what's that again here, 20? 20... 27 Model T. Model T. Yeah. That's your tow job now? Yeah. That's... You can go to car shows. You can sleep in advance the I, night I, before. I take that everywhere. I've been to Yorkton. Uh, I was out at uh, Katepo with it. Uh, I did uh, Weyburn and Moose Jaw on one day. Now you got your home. Oh, I got my home, yeah. Oh, good for you, Bill. Oh, thanks a lot. Appreciate it very much. Okay, we're here with Larry Smith, and he's got a trike. So tell us a little bit about your trike here. Well, uh, it's all original 70s era. The the uh, engine itself uh, I bought, uh, it's a 78 Ironhead, Harley Davidson. Okay. And uh, I actually uh, basically bought that and built a bike around it. So uh, Everything here is all hand built, right from front to back. I did it all myself, upholstery, everything, the rear differential. I like I your seat. Where did you find that seat for that, that old? Amazon. You could get that on Amazon. Yeah, I did get. I did find it on Amazon. Yeah. What the heck? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty Springs cool. and all. So, Jeez. Uh, so I was happy to find that. So what? Are the, what would you call that seat? Is off a Springer or something uh, like that? Kind of. A... No, it's just a, a custom motorcycle yeah. seat, yeah. just uh, just a, an all-purpose one. But so what, uh, how many cc's or inches it's, are we it's dealing? It's a thousand cc, uh, eighty cubic inch. Eighty uh, cubic inch. Yeah. And that's a what year was 78, that? Seventy-eight uh, Ironhead. 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 Harley Davidson. Why do we call it Ironhead? I don't know. That was that was uh, what they called them back in the day. In yeah, they had different names for them. They had different names for different bikes, but this one, uh, they named it an Ironhead. So. Where did you find that iron head engine? Uh, I found it in Indian Head. Really? A lot of years ago. And uh, yeah, I so just the, slowly the engine away. had parted with the rest of the bike, or the bike was still there? Actually, I, the, the frame and the engine were as one at one time. I just bought them as a package. Okay. But uh, the frame has been modified since so you, then. What did yeah. you do for your tank there? The tank is a original 70s uh, coffin tank. Okay. Uh, I found that at a swap meet in Regina here as well a few years ago. Nice. Uh, 
everything is is what are you doing for a fuel tank We're, oh that's i mean no, that is your fuel tank yeah. i'm looking at this here oh, this that's is just your a, that's just a a baggage carrier thing yeah. something i built myself uh, i did all the uh, oh you did all the leather work all, all the leather work myself yeah, yeah you took kind a stab of an at it guy, huh? <laughs> yeah and uh, the Springer front end is a is a '69 to '70s uh, Springer front end I found chopper, in Toronto. Big, long chopper, yeah. yeah. Long. Oh man, so I they're those. rare to find. How so. does it steer with that long end? Cool. It's nice. Yep. Yeah. You have to take wider turns, but I yeah, mean, it's yeah, still yeah. it's still. It's an super art form. Cool. I, I you know I've never had a yeah. long. I've had a few bikes, but never yeah. never had a long long chopper run like and that. And I just recently put reverse on this thing. Uh, oh, did you? Look at your exhaust there. What are those off of? Those were, you can get those uh, tailpipes off uh, Amazon or, or, or Kijiji or um, You and Jeff Bezos eBay. are partners here. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Everything off yeah. Amazon. But the reverse works well. All it is is just a little boot button. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. It, 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 but, tight, uh, it bites into the gears. Yeah. So it's idling. And then and it's idling you, and you just pull it back. And pull, it, uh, pull it back and it starts to. It rolls backwards, yep. That is kind of cool. Yeah. I'd have to look at that a little longer see how you did that. That's pretty good. Yeah, actually, it's uh, just a windshield wiper motor out of a Chevy Cobalt. I really? just got off an auto wrecker and I just kind of modified the gear and stuff on it. So, jeez, that is amazing. Yeah. So it's uh, so it's nice too. The actually reverse on a bike is so handy. It is, especially these things. They're kind of they're kind of bulky when you're trying to push backwards. Uh, you get the tires get in the, the way. You go yeah. down parking lot and yeah. how do you get up? You got to get people to push you and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so other very than that, nice. What's the headlight off? A headlight? Oh my goodness, where I found that, I don't even know. I think it was at a swap meet in a box of stuff. But it's, it's an original 70s item as well, so... I like yeah. your mirrors too. Yep, those were eBay or Amazon, one of the two. Yep. So really, this is just like mix and match off eBay, you Amazon, Kijiji, yeah. Yeah, yeah. just pull it all Most together. Most of the main parts are, are all uh, vintage uh, 70s and your, stuff. Your, uh, Cover it says SNS Super. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, got the super carburetor on there. Oh, yeah, sort of updated carb kind of thing. They call it a shorty. Shorty. It, yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for showing us your, your bike here. It's very cool. Thank you. So we're here with Todd Dixon. He's got a 1966 Fairlane. GT90. 390. Three, 390. Yes, I go. can see the badging on there. There you go. Actually, it's interesting how Ford and uh, GM 390, 396, 409, 420, yeah, all that yeah. sort of stuff. So, where did you find your car, Todd? Uh, I found this car through the uh, Sask Ford Mercury Club uh, that I'm a member of. Uh, I have another car that uh, was going to be getting some restoration work done on it, and our uh, club president, Mike Kyle, I told him I would uh, like to find a big block uh, Fairlane, a 66 or 7, to drive for the uh, next couple summers while the other one was getting restored, and uh, he knew the fellow that had this car, and uh, Mike had restored the car himself, and uh, Mike connected. Kyle? Mike, Mike Kyle, yeah, who yeah, you would know, I think, yeah, Bob, probably, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so... Uh, also, Mike did this work. Yeah, Mike did this work, and uh, he was able to connect me with the current, the then current owner to... Uh, make a deal on the car and uh, I'm thrilled I did I love driving it what's the best part of this car that you like you know the thing I like about it the most is that um, even though it's you know it's kind of hopped up under the hood and then and, and souped up it's uh, very much maintains its completely original character I really like that about kind it. Kind of a sleeper car. Abs kind of. Abs well, until you start it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but just to look at it, you know, the engine, the 390. What did you do to me? You woke, yeah, me, you up. woke me up. Yeah, and so the 390 engine I'm is mad. actually. I want to get out of bed and eat somebody. <laughs> eat somebody. <laughs> so the 390 is actually punched out and bored and stroked to um, about 430 cubic inches. Whoa! And uh, it's got a roller camshaft in it, higher compression. Let's have a look at that. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you can tell we're at a car show here. There's a little bit of background sound. Absolutely. Oh, look at that thing. Yeah, very clean. And uh, uh, Mike's work is like impeccable. Yeah, absolutely. He does a fabulous job. And, uh, you know, I've had to just kind of do some regular maintenance along the way with a little more TLC from Mike here and there. But the uh, car's running really, really well, and I'm really, really happy with it. The car is a four-speed transmission. What are they? Is that Gran Turismo? Yeah, yeah, Grand, Grand, Touring, Grand Touring. And, uh, Grand Turismo. It, oh, if, look at the carpet it, in there. That's beautiful. If it was an automatic, it would be called a GTA. Gran Turismo automatic. automatic. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Beautiful. 
What kind of transmission is in there? Yeah, it's a four-speed, uh, what they call top loader transmission. So very, Why very. What do they call a top loader? Uh, it has to do with the way that the gears, if I understand it correctly, the way drop that the uh, gears are dropping and everything yeah, yeah, in, uh, okay. in top uh, loader, yeah. things. Side so, oiler, top oiler. But yeah, quite, yeah. Uh, quite bulletproof apparently, and uh, not that I, you know, drive it to the twilight zone trying to break the thing, but. Twilight <laughs> zone. <laughs> yeah. Oh man! And what are those wheels on there? Those are the factory original uh, style uh, oh, GT uh, wheels that came so that's optional right on the right car. Out of the shoot kind of wheel. Yeah, and uh, these ones are on the back are actually slightly wider than the front ones. The way they the way they decided to do the car up when they restored it. Okay. But uh, they the red lines on there. Yeah, the red line tires, which you know, I don't want to be burning those up too badly at five hundred dollars a pop. So really, to try to they yeah, they're they're not cheap. Okay, we're here with Grant McPherson, and you've got a Monte Carlo. I was almost going to say a, a Cheval. I don't know why. I just I, pretty, was, they're pretty close. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I was thinking that. So this is you got a 450. You got the Rat in here. Yes. Wow. Uh, Did that come with it? That's stock. Yeah, it's got the SS package, so it's 454 with stock. She. So tell us a bit about your car. Where did you find this car? Actually, I bought it uh, in Watrous three years ago. The restoration was done in North Carolina. North Carolina? Yeah. Ooh, far but, away. Um, the guy bought it from said he had it for about 10 years and decided to sell it, so you are I had lucky. an opportunity to buy it. Did that come with it? <laughs> the little car actually did, but not the rotisserie, but the car. The little, <laughs> the little rotisserie. Where'd you find that rotisserie from? I just built it. Princess Auto. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. What, what's driving it? A little electric? A little, little six-volt electric motor. And what's it powered by? How do you... Uh, battery, actually, behind the battery. Oh, you got another battery behind the battery? Yeah. yeah. That car is so clean, you yeah. could eat off the engine compartment. <laughs> yeah, it takes... It takes a while to keep keep them clean for sure. So what the history of the car came from North Carolina, did it? Yeah, I, that's where the restoration restoration was done. It was originally uh, built in California. Okay. Sold new out of Phoenix, Arizona. Really? So it's yeah, rust free, pretty pretty clean car. So this is the SS Z20 option. What do we mean by the Z20 option? I'm just reading from your stuff yeah. there. Uh, Z20 gave probably it's all listed on there. Uh, okay. It gave you the 360 horse oh, engine, turbo 400. <laughs> Yeah, 12 volt L LS5 engine, yeah. yeah. Turbo 400 transmission, bulletproof yeah. transmission, 12 volt differential, automatic level control. It's like Cadillac kind that's of. That's a thing. little different, actually. It is similar to Cadillac. That's a gold gold tank on there. Oh, that's a pretty big one. That's a little it's, compressor, is it? It's a vacuum operated compressor, which is kind of strange. Yeah, yeah. no, but that's that's interesting. Yeah. So probably it looks a little beefier than some of the little compressors I've seen with little electric cars. ones. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and so if you throw something in the trunk or you get a couple extra riders in, it just lifts it back up to stock height. Ooh. And, if you, and if you get out, then it drops back down to yeah. the right height again. So the Monte Carlo, so really the Monte Carlo was built as a luxury car, but yet a kind of a muscle car. It was yeah. sort of... Uh, That's how they marketed it. It lived in yeah. both end, both worlds, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, yep. So what's the color black? Any name to that or is it just... Tuxedo, black? tuxedo black. Tuxedo black. Yep. And I and hats off to you. You've got it. No streaks. No nothing. No dust. Yeah. It looks great today. No oh, thanks. And you got that ratchet shifter or that type of yeah. That's all, all stock. Yeah, it's all stock. So you know, I'm just trying to think. When this car came out, if a guy didn't want a Chevelle and he was a little maybe looking for a little classier ride, he would go for a Monte Carlo then. I think so. Kind of high. I, I, I was trying to figure out their marketing GM, you know, they're kind yeah. of niche marketing. Yeah, it was, it was marketed as a gentleman's muscle car. Gentleman's uh, yeah. muscle car, yeah. that, that makes sense. Yeah. So you kind of fool people, huh? you're going down the road and you think, ah, yeah. there's grandpa, and oh, boom. <laughs> yeah, that's why they kept the insignia quite small. That's the only markings on the whole oh, car. 454. Yeah. So if you weren't looking right, <laughs> yeah, you could up. get smoked. Yep. <laughs> So tell us, you've got this, this is a more modern Westie, isn't it? 
Uh, well, it's modern of the... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as far as modern goes, yes. yes. What is, year is this one? It's 1986. Yeah, because they started back, what, in the 60s? They did, yeah. And they, I believe they changed the uh, the style of them in the late 70s. And this is that style of the late 70s um, okay. that they maintained until, I think, 1989. Oh, and okay. then they changed it to the more modern van that you see with the uh, engine okay. in the front and everything. So. so are they, they're not making Westies anymore, though, are they? Uh, no, they don't. And they do in Europe, and they're called the California. Oh, the uh, California. Yeah, uh, but they're not sold in North America. So where did you find your Westphalia? Well, um, my wife found it on Facebook, as well, all places, and uh, it was a... Uh, I've always I've loved them. I used to have one way back when oh, I was like okay. yeah, yeah. in my uh, early twenties, and okay. uh, I would talk about it often. And when my wife found it, she contacted me and said, "Look, what's for sale? Should we buy it?" And <laughs> we bought it like that. <laughs> so no questions asked. We just bought it. Let's go inside yeah, and have a look inside your Westie here. Hi, girls. <laughs> oh, there's your wife. Yeah, she's there. So you're the instigator of this problem, huh? Of uh, which problem? <laughs> the Westphalia. Found it on Facebook. Um, well, it's my husband loves these, and so I spoiled them and bought him a van. Oh, well, that's a pretty good thing. Where's he going? He's cleaning up. Getting out of the way. He's getting out of the way. So, how did? Where did you find it on the on on uh, in the paper on Kijiji or what? Um, it was through a, a Facebook selling thing called uh, Marketplace. Okay. I was just flipping through social media and saw it, and it's beautiful. Have you had fun with it here? Has this been fun for you guys? Uh, it's it's new to us, so it's just this summer been fun for us. So this yeah. Is, I think it's gonna be its, uh, I'm just going to ask him a couple questions here. Have you cooked in it yet? I have not cooked in it. This have you cooked in it? Oh no. <laughs> is that natural gas or no? That's LP. Propane. propane. Yeah, propane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, liquid propane. And it's got a little fridge too. Does that does mm -hmm. everything work yet? Yeah, the propane's been updated. Um, it works. It was used by the previous owners. Just last, just last year before they sold it to us. Um, yeah, they've updated, make sure everything's perfectly running order. It, everything works very well. It's fantastic condition. Oh, fantastic. So are you not going to take it camping or do anything with it? It's too pretty to take camping. <laughs> it's too pretty to take camping. <laughs> Well, I hope you have a great summer with it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Hey, we're here with Neil Morrison. He's got a 92 Ford XLT extended cab. Yes, extended cab, yeah. I, I had yeah. a Ford 150. No, it wasn't a 73, 74. I don't know if they called it a 150 or 100. I can't remember Yeah, anymore. it might have been a 100 back Yeah, I think then. it was yeah. 100. Yeah. So this is a 150. Yeah. A beautiful truck. Thank you. So where'd you get your truck? If you can believe it, a little town called Quinton. Quinton. It's out, yeah, it's out by Raymore. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I'm the third owner. Apparently, this as close as we can figure. This truck was bought new from Bennett Dunlop Ford by a rancher farmer out in the uh, Raymore area. Okay. After he had quit um, farming, ranching, stuck it in a barn, didn't use the thing. Okay. Then this gentleman from Quinton found it. Okay. He was a, a trucker, so he didn't use the truck a lot and then decided to sell it. So I happened to, actually another club member by the name of Fred Wagner found it and uh, he was looking at it, but he wanted a truck with a 5.8. This has only got the 5.0. So you had this One, painted? Yeah. Here. So you did the, you did the, bed, the bed too? What, how did uh, you No, the, the bed was, was in the truck, Bob, when I got it. Oh, it, really? Yeah. Uh, okay. The previous owner did the spray and uh, bed liner. Very well done. Very yeah. well done. So what do you think the towing capacity on this is? Do you have an idea? Yeah, 7,000 pounds. That's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. It's okay. got 355 gears in the back, so, um, you know, just with the 5 liter 302. Were these I, rails I with it when you yeah, got it? Yeah, they came with it too, Bob. Yeah. So that's part of the XLT package, probably. No, I, th that would have been an add-on. Oh, an add-on? Yeah, big, oh. I assume the previous owner uh, put them on. You know. I put the new running boards on it, so. You know, they're just such a handsome-looking truck. Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's not bad-looking. Yeah. What did you say that red color is? Uh, I believe it's a, a candy apple. Candy yeah. apple red. Yeah. Oh, well, well done. Well done. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing your truck oh, with us. Oh, you're very welcome. Well done. Too. Yeah. Beautiful. And then I, I did the exhaust system, too, on it. It had single when I bought it. I, I did the exhaust on it. Ran so. it up, and you got yeah. the dual balls in the back yeah. there and everything. Yeah. So. yeah, very nice truck. Thank you. You're very welcome, Bob. Thank you.